We did it, you guys. It is Wednesday, February 17th. It has been one month since I started this project. This is video number 31. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, my friend Marshall uh, got a tattoo yesterday, and I'm really jealous. Um, I It's been a while since I've gotten a tattoo, and um, I'm... I'm ready for another one. I have a couple designs in mind. Um, but I figured, um, he sent me the picture last night and I've been thinking about uh, tattoos lately. So I figured I would just tell you the story of my first tattoo, which is this little square right here, which is my Chinese Zodiac, um, which is basically just like an inch by an inch. Uh, I had flown uh, I was living in LA and I flew back to Chicago in 2006 uh, for my graduation and my parents got a hotel room and I was staying with uh, my friend Steve and um, my friend Tom and when I flew in and got to uh, the apartment they had plans to go get a tattoo that night or the next day doesn't matter tiny detail uh, and I just figured, like, man, this would, this is a great opportunity to, like, have, like, not only am I flying here to graduate college, but I'm, I could also, like, get my first tattoo with two good friends. Um, and uh, Steve had a tattoo all planned out, and so did uh, Tom. Tom had a really big one, actually. Um, and we get to the, the tattoo parlor, and I'm like, I wasn't ner I actually don't remember being nervous about the actual tattoo itself or the process I was more nervous about the selection and I had had ideas at that point but obviously like I didn't have time to like flesh anything out and I mean it basically I I was flipping through this like whole book and I, like it, it felt like an hour or more uh, and I finally um, was like oh yeah like I'm a pretty big fan of my Chinese Zodiac it, you know um, I'm not like a die-hard uh, Zodiac person, but um, I found it like cute, fun, and uh, something I could relate to and relative to the year I was born in. Uh, so I wasn't sure about the size. Obviously I went pretty small because I wasn't sure about my pain threshold. And when it was done, it felt like it was like less than a half hour and I, I had just kind of relaxed into it. And he's like, all right, you're all set. And I was kind of bummed out. I really actually had wished I got it uh, bigger. I would later on go and get all this done. But um, the funny thing was that uh, the tattoo itself cost 40 bucks and I uh, tipped him 20. And when we were walking back to the apartment, I found $49 on the street, $49 in cash. Like somebody had broke a $50 bill just to get a one and dropped the other 49. Uh, 49 is also one of my favorite numbers. So it was like a really, you know, if you believe in symbolism, there it is. Uh, so my tattoo only ended up costing me nine bucks, my first tattoo. Yeah, and it means monkey, so there's that. Um, I figure that's a better way to start off uh, the 31st day of this project, Wednesday, February 17. I will, uh, I'll see you tomorrow.